Hello friends, welcome back. Welcome back to another wardrobe update. Although I know that we are a lot of new faces around here. So if you are new to the wardrobe update, basically it's just I share what I have been adding to my wardrobe and we talk about other things that might come up during the month. And with that introduction, let's get started right away because I have added a lot of things. There are so many things to talk about. Most of you will know by now that I am better with my style in fall and winter. I much prefer styling my clothes in these seasons and so sometimes I struggle a little bit with spring and summer and I think the fact that I've added quite a, a lot of things definitely is a reflection of that. I usually talk about a proof of concept, basically buying from the things that you already know that you will wear and in winter fall it's very easy for me to know what I will and I will not wear but in summer and spring it's a little bit harder even though it has gotten easier like I definitely feel like I have more things now that I can buy on a proof of concept like slip dresses, blazers, skirts, I know to avoid shorts, I know that I like cami tops, fitted tops, but because a lot of these proof of concepts are new I don't really have a lot of things in my wardrobe that uh, fit the criteria and so I'm very easily persuaded to add something. So on that side note let's just get started and the first thing that I added is a pink slip skirt. This is actually something that I wanted to add for a pretty long time. Initially I have been going over in my head whether to add uh, a magenta pink slip dress or a skirt. And I found this skirt on another stories, it's 100% viscose and I decided to go with it simply because it existed. If I were to get it in the slip dress version, I would have added it from uh, the Etsy store where I usually get my silk stuff. I also have another skirt from here, but I actually decided that it was a good idea to go with this one because I ordered it, tried it on, and it was just so perfect. It fit like a glove. The color is so beautiful, but also even though it is viscose, the the way the fabric is composed, it is quite a bit thicker than what I'm usually used to. And something I can sometimes struggle with with my other silk skirt is that whenever I tuck my shirts into it, because it's so thin, I really have to work really hard at it not being visible that like I've tucked something in. Like it's it can crease quite a bit dependent on what I'm wearing with it. And that doesn't usually bother me. Like I will find a work around it, but I did definitely feel like keeping this skirt so that I wouldn't have to deal with that. Anyway, still I'm really excited about it. The length is really nice. It falls beautifully. If you have not noticed already, the new pictures I've taken from my YouTube channel, I'm wearing this skirt with my pink turtleneck. And I've mentioned before that I'm not super into a monochrome look and I, really mean that but I think if I'm into a monochrome look full pink is the way to go it's very loud obviously but there's something about like a full pink situation that I just feel is like so powerful it's definitely a power color of mine the next thing that I added is a silk cami top from the brand Intim intimacy intimacy I bought this because I just really needed a slip cami like I have been wanting one for such a long time I have bought and tried on so many of them and they're never perfect and I will be honest to say that neither is this one I don't particularly love the back I would prefer it to be a, uh, a different type of V in the back but still the color is really beautiful it actually goes really well with my silk skirt from the Etsy store I kind of like this whole oyster colored look this oat colored situation yeah it's just something that fits really beautifully in with my wardrobe just a timeless piece. Then I added something fast fashion. I added a 100% cotton shirt from Zara. I've recently started to add a bit of fast fashion again. I'm trying to do so with caution and only buy things that I really believe that I will wear and I will definitely wear a blue and white cotton shirt from Zara and I've also been doing so. I have been been wearing it and it has been washed once and it actually has been doing quite all right the only thing is one of the buttons already fell off but I, I managed to grab it so it's not a big deal and that's also something that's easily e easy, easily fixable so not a big deal and yeah another fast fashion piece that we will keep track of or I will keep track of and then we will see how it fares especially 
compared to my other cotton sh uh, shirts, which are Ralph Lauren. So I'm really excited about making that comparison down the road. And just like a funny side note, like I feel like I'm starting to notice that like w baby blue and white stripes is like my thing. It keeps making appearances in my water when it didn't really catch it 100% until I also added this shirt. So that was kind of funny. Then the next thing that I added is an orange blazer. If you're a regular to my channel, you most likely know that I have this fantasy image of me in an orange blazer that I've had for like literally 12 years now and I've never managed to find one that I liked and then I actually did find one that I absolutely adored. Unfortunately, it was from Sandro. I tried it on, it was gorgeous, but it's literally $500 and it has a polyester lining. Like no matter what I did, I just could not justify to myself, but like it's just, there's no room for that in my budget. That would just, it would just, that wouldn't make any sense. So I left without it and then actually it was completely random but saw that they had one in H&M. Not the same color, but very similar to the structure and this is one of those situations as well where because it was something I want, I bought it because it was cheap. I paid like 45 uh, francs or dollars for it. I have actually been wearing it, so at least there's that, but it's going to be interesting to see it together with the other polyester blazer I bought from H&M or polyester lined blazer, how comfortable I will be in them in the summer. But now we're still in spring, so I'm still okay. Just a gorgeous spring piece. And I feel like it's a little bit more interesting than a lot of other basic things that you can add, but it still really fits in with my style. And it also fits in really well with my new spring and summer palette that uh, I am going to talk about in another video. The next thing that I added is an Abercrombie top. This is definitely inspired by the fact that my top that is practically identical from a Reformation is one of the things in my wardrobe that gets the most wear. And I absolutely do love it. So if I'm being totally honest, it's not like I 100% needed something this similar. It was more like a want to have than it was a need to have. But in the Reformation one, no matter how much I love it, I am very squeezed into it. And it can honestly get, I wouldn't even say uncomfortable, but like I also had it in the warmer seasons of last year and it's a bit more difficult to wear it, to like have your chest, like your boobs completely squeezed together when it's warm enough that you sweat. So I actually got this Abercrombie top, it's nylon. It's quite comfortable to be honest and I got it in a medium and I still don't have to wear a bra in it, but it's not as compressive as the other one and it also gives a lot more where the Reformation one, there's like no give in the fabric. It does have this bag, uh, I don't remember how you what you would call the type of bag in, in English, but Basically, it does give a little bit, but with this Abercrombie top, it's just, it's a completely different type of fabric. So this will be more uh, appropriate for me or more comfortable for me to wear in the winter, uh, summer, sorry. Also, I don't feel any type of guilt for getting it. Like, this is a top that I have such a strong proof of concept on that it's guaranteed that I will wear it. Then the next thing that I've added is another skirt. This is an oat colored linen skirt, also from another stories. I think one of the things I really struggle with in my wardrobe is bottoms for summer. It's one of the things that I have the least of. And so I've definitely desperately been trying to add skirts uh, to my summer wardrobe. And I've also started to look for linen pants. And yeah, I found this skirt. It was a really nice fit. I posted it on my Instagram and a lot of you guys agreed. So I did decide on keeping it. So it's really nice because now I have some things in rotation and yeah, just have more room for actually creating outfits that are actually wearable for me. But because again, I don't have such strong proof of concepts on summer clothing, how much wear I will actually be able to get out of it will remain to be seen. But really beautiful look that definitely goes with everything in my wardrobe as of yet, so that's good. And the next thing that I bought is a basic top from H&M. I got this one because I got it in pink uh, last month. I had it in my last wardrobe updates and I'll be honest the quality is not great but it is really cheap it's 100% cotton and yeah I just felt like this was a pretty good piece to be able to reach for as I'm still settling into like my 
summer spring wardrobe and building on it and I think one of the questions I get the most on my channel is regarding brands to buy quality basics from and where I get my quality basics is usually it's so scattered it's very difficult to find a place where they make like a lot of different basics like I haven't managed to find something like that yet and so it's so easy to just turn to H&M because you know that they have this whole basic section of things that are 100% cotton and they will probably have what you need and that's also one of the difficult things for sure about giving up fast fashion or just to like shop their less in general outside of the price is of course also the fact that like their clothing is so accessible and you will almost guaranteed find what you're looking for when you go in there and so I added this top and we'll get as much use out of it as possible and I definitely want to get something similar from a higher quality brand at, at a certain point before I would have to rebuy something like this. So this is sort of like a substitute, uh, like it's a fast fashion start. I know this is also a popular choice among some of you guys where you tend to uh, buy your things fast fashion first, get your proof of concept, see if that's something you will wear, and then you will justify a higher price point to yourselves and then buy the nicer version. And I feel like this is not something I always have to, to do. I think a lot of the time, of course I also make mistakes, but I don't always feel like I have to go down that, that road, also because I really have been trying to really commit to not buying fast fashion for so long, but I can definitely see the, the convenience and that is what I'm trying to do right now, like the convenience of adding some pieces fast fashion that I will actually be able to wear and like balance it, it with don't get carried away. Interesting journey that I'm on. And speaking of this top, the one I bought in pink, I have now worn that 10 times. It has been washed two or three, three times I think now, and it's gray. Like it's not pink anymore. It doesn't have the same shade of pink uh, as the blazer, which it originally started out by having. And it's just sometimes I, I find myself like questioning some of the things I say about fast fashion because again, I went so long without having any of it and then I started getting comments like, oh, but it's all about how you take care of your fast fashion. Like, I've never had issues with my basics. You know, after a while I'm like, okay, like how, how much of this is just like s snobbery or like me getting stuck in my own ways. But I just have really found that that's not the case. Like whenever I do add something fast fashion, like 50 or more percent of the time, something will go wrong with it. And sometimes it's something as simple as a button fall enough and other times it's something literally like losing its color with completely regular wash and I wash all of my other thing completely regular it doesn't happen like it's definitely not because I made a mistake in the washer like I've already considered if I should just declutter it already probably won't do it just yet but it's not far out so that's sort of a shame, but I also should not get into that too much now because I actually have a whole video coming up on um, actually comparing fast fashion pieces to some of my other pieces. I don't know if that sounds interesting, but for me it has been so interesting to prepare for this video. So I'm actually really, really excited about posting it and actually comparing like what is the difference getting something mid -quali quality or high quality and to get something fast fashion. Like, is there really a difference? Is it really all in how well you take care of it and um, uh, the answer is definitely no uh, but uh, you will you will see more in the video I made a note here for the video that I just briefly wanted to chat about and it is something I have definitely talked about on my channel before but it's this thing where like if you find something that really works for you and you get it in great quality you only have to buy that item once Granted, nothing goes wrong, but it's just when you find a proof of concept, like whether it be like a black ba blazer or some type of like basic basic eraser tub or whatever, anything else, like if you keep getting these types of pieces in like fast fashion or low, low quality, they will deteriorate, they will lose their shape more often than not. And sometimes it can really do so well for our style and overall polishedness of our look to just get that piece that thing, like search for a better version of it until you find it and then that search will be over. And it's just something that I've been thinking a lot about right now because I have added a lot of fast fashion. Like I added the H&M the sweater, the blue one, then the pink blazer, now I have the orange blazer, now I've added a cotton shirt and um, two basic tops from H&M and it's sort of interesting because I actually went to Zara unrelated actually had to do some shooting for one of my videos but I found this 
beautiful bright pink blazer like really rich like fuchsia or like magenta or whatever and like it was single breasted the shape was just so beautiful and i did try it on especially because it was actually 100 viscose both the shell and the lining and i really had to talk myself out of getting it because i was like a fuchsia like a palatial like this you have wanted for so long and when you find it you will wear it don't spend 120 francs on this thing from Sarah, knowing that you've already had two blazers from Sarah that died on, on me pretty quickly. And I also then had one from Massimo Dutti that also didn't do very well. And this thing where like, if I know I really want something, sometimes of course then I will get it. Like the orange blazer, I know I still want some other sort of orange blazer and I still ended up with this one. But then I was like, you just did that, like you just, got this orange blazer that you wanted, don't do it again. Just because you're in Sarah, you're getting carried away. You don't have to add everything that you want and at once. And I can wait another season, another year to find that pink blazer that will really work for me well. Plus I have a ton of other pink things right now. Like don't get carried away trying to look for the missing pieces of your wardrobe. Like try to enjoy that process. Or, by the way, I'm talking just as much to myself as I am to you right now, but like try to enjoy that process rather than like always feel like you need the next best, best thing. Like the next thing will make or break your wardrobe or the next thing will complete your wardrobe. Nothing ever will. And I'm probably better off spending that money getting these types of pieces that are definitely like in need within my summer wardrobe. Like for example, the linen skirt, that is a need. Like I need the bottoms uh, and basic pieces for summer to be in a place where I can like rotate the items that I have. And then I can start adding more interesting pieces outside of that just like I have with my winter wardrobe. Oops, I almost forgot one more thing that I added is a halter neck dress from Stories. It's kind of interesting because you guys have never seen me in a halter neck thing before, but this is one of my strongest proof of concepts from my younger self. All my teenage years and my early 20s, it was literally my most worn basic thing. I had dresses in it, tops in it, and I would wear them all the time every day and for going out. And then for a while, I've just kind of like taken a step back from these types of pieces. Also the pieces I, I had like 10 years ago, they no longer fit me. And so when I saw this dress on another store's website and I saw the fabric composition, I, I believe it's, it's linen with lyocell. It is so beautiful. Like it's so beautiful on, I don't need to wear a bra with it. it it breathes so perfectly and linen obviously can be quite uh, crinkly and because it is cut with the lyocell and just like the composition of the fabric it just falls so beautifully i have something that i would deem somewhat similar that i bought last year also from another stories it was a cupro slip dress it's in theory black but it's definitely more like a charcoal gray if i'm being honest and i wore this dress so many times but i will be honest i did didn't really wear this dress so many times because I love the look of it. Like I didn't mind the look of it, but I do so badly with the heat and so many days I just want something that is super easy and comfortable and this Cooper dress was exactly that. So when I saw this new halter neck dress on another store's website, knew, knowing that I have this proof of concept from last year, I got really excited. So I added that one. I've already been wearing it when I have been able to. And I really think that this is going to be one of those staples for my summer that I keep coming back to. And I also really appreciate about it that it is more near to a true black rather than this more charcoal than the Cooper dress is. So very exciting stuff that I found that dress. I have been trying on so many dresses. I've said this before, but like you guys really don't get to see how much stuff I actually try on. Like I definitely really enjoy shopping. I think if you're here, you probably do too, but there really are so many things that I try on or that I consider that I never end up with or things that I, I order then of course, if it's not perfect, then I send it back and I really end up with like a fraction and it has been difficult because some of the things that I've tried on has been really nice and pretty, but I also know like, uh, I really have to stick to the proof of concept for the most part. Like I can't do too much experimenting right now. I can't really afford it. And so whenever I find something that's just right where it's supposed to be, that is awesome. But I will be talking more about my summer dresses, obviously in my upcoming summer and spring 
videos. Quick mention, if you're not already following me on Instagram and you want to, please go ahead and do that. I post a little outfit photo every so once in a while and that's kind of like it, but then I also use it more for like sharing uh, things that I've bought and like asking what you guys think of them, if you think I should keep them. For example, I had bought this um, blue shirt from another stories and decided to return it and definitely partly decided to return it when I saw like the, the, the answers from you guys. So I really don't spam you on Instagram. I don't post that much. So if you'd like to just uh, be friends there and keep track of a little bit of what I'm doing, then uh, consider following me. Anyway, that was all I had for today's wardrobe updates. Thanks for tuning in and I will see you in the next video. Bye! -bye.